Welcome everyone. I'm Maud Narol, co-director for action and advocacy for the Colorado League of Women Voters of Colorado. We'll have information on what the league recommends, what the league stances are on many of these measures. So the League of Women Voters of Colorado Quick Reference Guide is available on the state league website. And there's much more information on the measures, on our stances, why and why we took those stances, why we make those recommendations at lwvcolorado.org, WTLS, where the league stands. How do we take a stance? We apply our positions. Uh, there are dozens of specialists in the state league's legislative action committee who analyze and testify on bills during the legislative session and research and analyze ballot issues in the summer. Who said we had an off season? Um, we use our positions to judge bills and ballot issues and make recommendations on a stance. So this is going to go th not through in ballot measure order, but more in complexity order. So we're going to start on 131. Um, and we support, the League supports Proposition 131, the all-candidate primary ranked choice voting general elections, um, because with so many districts safe seats for one party or another, the low turnout primary is currently the decisive election for many races. It's basically decided in the primary and the general just confirms the outcome of the primary. Proposition 31 would make most general elections competitive and more engaging. The league supports electoral methods that encourage voter participation and voter engagement that encourages those with minority opinions to participate and promote access to voting. The League also supports authorizing and implementing alternatives to the current plurality voting method that allow people to express their preferences more effectively. Funding for law enforcement. The League opposes the $350 million appropriation from the general fund because the league supports adequate funding of state government programs and public schools, there are no spare dollars in the general fund to support this measure. And this measure would require cutting other state programs, likely including education, making it less likely that Colorado's government and public schools would be adequately funded. Amendment 80, constitutional right to school choice. Again, League of Women Voters of Colorado opposes this, recommends a no vote. This measure could require the legislature to allocate public funds for private schools and homeschooling to support choice among educational options, siphoning funds from public schools. The League views public schools as a public good, a vital component of a functioning democracy. In addition, the League supports a state finance system that provides enough funds for public schools to equalize educational opportunity and relieve the property tax. On 7A, the Regional Transportation District, um, RTD serves all or part of eight counties, Boulder, Broomfield, Denver, Jefferson, Western Adams, Western Arapaho, Northern Douglas, and part of Weld County. 7A will neither let RTD raise tax rates nor impose a new tax, but it will be able to continue to spend money from current tax rates and other revenue, such as federal grants, into the future. The League supports RTD Measure 7A because we support a balanced transportation system that includes a variety of modes in appropriate mix for each area that helps improve mobility and quality of life for all residents. And we support measures to reduce vehicular pollution, including more energy efficient transportation systems and adequate revenue, again, to fund government programs. Amendment 79, the constitutional right to abortion, the league strongly supports this. 
Um, we support policy that protects the constitutional right of privacy of the individual to make reproductive choices, regardless of insurance coverage or lack of coverage. We support this so strongly that uh, the state league members all across our 19 or so groups, um, local leagues, collected signatures to help get this on the ballot. And some people in this webinar were among those collecting signatures. So thank you much. Amendment G, modify the property tax exemption for veterans with a disability. Again, here we are in the ones that are more straightforward. Um, it expands eligibility for the homestead exemption for veterans with a disability. Um, to include veterans who are unable to gain or maintain substantially gainful employment as a result of their service-connected disabilities, what the Veterans Administration, the VA, refers to as the individual unemployability status. And there's detail on that in the Blue Book, what, how that's defined and how the VA determines that. The League supports income assistance programs based on need that provide decent, adequate standards for food, clothing, and shelter. The League recommends a yes vote on judicial, judicial disciplinary procedures and confidentialities. We recommend the supports of this. Um, we believe governmental bodies must protect the citizens' right to know by making public records accessible and that transparency is a key tenant of the League. This would improve transparency of judicial discipline procedures. Amendment J, repealing the definition of marriage in the state constitution. The League recommends a yes vote. We support this measure. We believe in the individual liberties guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States and that individual rights now protected by the Constitution should not be weakened or abridged. And um, putting this, repealing the outdated definition of marriage in the, our state constitution would help retain that in case the two state and US Supreme Courts overrule their current decisions. Amendment K, modifying the constitutional election deadlines. The State League supports this. We recommend a yes vote. Um, changing the election deadlines in the state constitution to allow election time, officials more time before finalizing ballots. Um, the League believes the state constitution and any proposed constitutional amendments should provide a flexible framework for effective state and local government, giving our um, election officials a little more time would help make things more effective, ballot handling more effective. Proposition JJ, retain additional sports bidding tax revenue. Again, the State League recommends yes vote, supporting this measure. Um, to allow the state to keep and spend all the revenue for the existing sports betting tax. So remember, when voters approved that sports betting tax, they approved two different things. One was a tax rate and one was a revenue amount. The tax rate won't stay. Well, we'll the tax rate will stay the same. Um, it's just removing that revenue cap. So revenue in ex excess of the $29 million, um, approved by the voters in 2019. Um, would would um, be allowed, the state would allow to keep that revenue and increase the funding for water conservation and protection projects. The league supports measures that promote the wise and balanced use of water in Colorado. Proposition KK, firearms and ammunition excise tax, the league supports this 6.5% excise tax on the retail sales of firearms, firearm parts or ammunition, um, to fund mental health services, including for military vets and at-risk youth, school safety and gun violence prevention, and support services for victims of domestic violence and other violent crimes. The League supports access to behavioral health services, including diagnosis, treatment, and medications for all age groups. The League supports preventing violence with the active role of government and allocation of public money. 
and early intervention for children at risk. Now, the League has um, no positions on four of these measures. We don't have any positions on animals or their health care, so we don't have positions for or against Proposition 127 or 129, and we don't have um, positions on bail or parole. So the League of Women Voters of Colorado Quick Reference Guide is available on the State League website. And there's much more information on the measures, on our stances, why and why we took those stances, why we make those recommendations at lwvcolorado.org, WTLS, where the league stands. Thank you much for learning where the league stands.